if it's your first time here go down there uh, press that subscription button don't forget to comment share and like so today i'm doing something different from what i do um, and it's all for the sake of my viewers someone actually requested i should do this and as i told you i'll do what you want so today i'm discussing a play by francis imbuga called aminata and um just without wasting much time i'm going straight to the book so the play is called aminata which is written by francis imbuga the setting is in membe uh, a village called membe the following are the characters there is Aminata, who is the protagonist. By this, I mean the main character in the book. There is Ababio, who is a brother to Aminata. There is Jumba. Uh, there is Pastor Ngoya. There is Mama Rosina. There is Dr. Mudlemi. And then uh, Auntie Kezia. So, Ababio is the brother to Aminata. And then Pastor Ngoya is the father to Aminata and Ababio. There is jumba who is the husband to mama rosina and jumba who is also the brother to the late pastor Ngoya. then we have dr mulemi who is the husband to aminata and we have auntie Kezia, who is the aunt to dr mulemi so the play basically begins uh uh, uh with that the <coughs> begins at the at pastor Ngoya's grave where we are told that Pastor Ngoya was the father to Aminata and that in his will, he had requested that his grave should not be cemented and that in his will, he also uh, said or stated that Aminata should inherit uh, a piece of land. So um, Jumba, who is uh, Pastor Ngoya's brother, is a together with the uh, ababio uh, against that will of giving land to aminata only because aminata is a woman we can see that this society is a, a patriarchal society where male view women as a, a weak a weak uh, object and so they are against that will of aminata inheriting land we find that uh, uh, Jumba convinces Ababio and they cement the grave. And this act of cementing the grave is only because they want to engrave, enclose, or maybe to prevent Pastor Ngoya's ghost from haunting them. You know? And so there is Mama Rosina, who is the wife to Jumba, is uh, on uh, Aminata's side. And we see that at some point he confronts the husband, trying to convince him to give uh, or to follow the will of Pastor Ngoya. So Dr. Mulemi, who is uh, 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 Minata's husband, we see that uh, is uh, okay with the fact that Aminata is a lawyer actually, and she's, uh, we find that she's so much dedicated to her, her own community. And so when uh, Auntie Kezia visits, and finds that Aminata is not around. She has gone to her village. She's so disappointed. She disagrees with that. The fa and she, according to her, uh, she says that Aminata should be taking care of the husband and the children. And um, uh, but and tells uh, Aminata's husband that they should have more children. Actually, this is. Ironically, because Aminata's husband has already done a uh, vasectomy, meaning that he can't produce more children. And Aminata is fine by that. So I'm going to discuss the themes in the book. And one of the themes is um, the theme of uh, education. Uh, we find that Aminata is educated and she's a, she's a lawyer and that at some point uh, she's the one paying school fees for Ababio's children to study so there is theme of education and uh, we also see that that uh, her husband is a doctor dr mlemi meaning he is educated 
Another theme is a theme of change. If you guys read the book, at some point you'll realize that uh, before, or maybe according to the to that society or community, a uh, boy child was the one supposed to cater for the burial of the father. But again, there is change, whereby Aminata is the one who brings change, that when Pastor Ngoya dies, Aminata is the one who actually participated, or who is, she's the one who buried the father she bought the the coffin and everything so that theme of change and then there is that aspect where before he knew that jumba is the one who was the elder but later on we find that mama rosina takes over from jumba and she becomes the first woman to sit on that stool of rule so meaning that before there are there was there it was only for men to sit on that stool of rule but later on there is change mama rosina brings the change whereby she's the one who takes over the stool of rule and she becomes the leader of membe so that's theme of change uh, a third theme is a theme of marriage so mama rosina is married to jumba and then there is Aminata, who is married to Dr. Mulemi, and they had a family, they had children. So there you can explain, say, theme of marriage, where Aminata is married to Dr. Mulemi, and then, uh, and according to Mama Kezia, she feels like the role of a woman is being married and settling down and taking care of the children and the husband. So theme of marriage. And then another theme is a theme, I can say there is theme of feminism. You know, where in this society we find that female were regarded as nobody. Let me say they regarded male as an important being. Whereby, when Aminata realizes that Jumba and uh, Ababio are planning to cement her father's grave, she sends a message uh, to to in, uh, to warn them, or maybe rather to stop them from doing that, but they do, they don't even regard the message, meaning they saw Aminata as a, a nobody. And uh, also, we find that uh, when Aminata uh, is uh, the father, the father has written a will that she's supposed to inherit land. Jumba refuses. Ababio refuses, meaning. They, they believe that male are the only being who are supposed to inherit land. So there is that feminism, you know, where uh, women are disregarded or they are looked down upon in the society. And then there is, uh, I've said that theme of feminism. Then I can say there is theme of culture. There is theme of culture whereby uh, if you guys read the book, there is that point where Pastor Ngoya gives uh, chicken soup to Aminata. And we are told that according to the culture or the cultural belief of that community or the society, they believed that female were not supposed to take uh, or to eat soup, to eat chicken, sorry. Female were not supposed to eat uh, chicken, but Pastor Ngoya goes ahead and gives Aminata the chicken soup. Actually, that point you can explain it in two ways. You can explain it, you can explain the theme of change using that. That before, uh, female were not allowed to take the chicken soup, and now Pastor Ngoya gives the chicken soup to Aminata, who is well, and nothing happens actually that's a change and also you can still use that point to explain theme of culture there are so many cultures there we find that uh, there is that culture where uh, a woman uh, no, no the son a baby was expected to to bury the father so that's a culture but again you can explain the same saying Ababio was expected to do that, but she didn't. And uh, rather, Aminata does. So it's a change. Again, it's a culture, you know. So you will get your points or you will you'll get your marks according to how you explain your points, right? I hope you guys are understanding. Oh, there is another, there's gender roles. 
gender roles i don't know you can see gender roles in this aspect where aminata uh, buries the father whereby according to the society they expected ababio to do it so gender roles male were expected to bury their father male were the ones to inherit land and female were expected to get married uh, give birth and take care of the children and the husband you see those are the roles and um, guys i hope you've understand what i've said and uh, please in your comments just let me know what you understood and what you didn't understand so that i can uh, maybe do something else for you so don't forget to subscribe uh, like and share see you